Welcome to Johnny on Energy. We're here at the AHR Expo in Vegas, and I'm standing here with Larry Lincolns of American Home Tech. They do a pretty cool product in electric uh, water heating, and I'm going to let Larry say a few words about it, and then we'll take a closer look. Uh, thanks, John. Uh, yeah, I'm Larry Lincolns with American Home Tech, and uh, we're a manufacturer of both electric and gas tankless hot water heaters. And uh, what we hear today is on our electric tankless gas tankless our electric tankless hot water heater, we use a unique heating technology. Most, all our other competitors use something that looks like this. It's a metal spring. They energize that spring and that spring glows bright red immersed in water creating scale, lime scale buildup, quarter inch of a lime scale buildup reduce their efficiency of your heater by 50%. On the other hand, we use a quartz tube technology. You can see these tubes in this unit. And we heat the water through conduction through the quartz tube. So no uh, electric energy is ever inside the water to cause scale buildup. As a result, we have a much longer warranty on our product and there's no uh, reduction in performance over the life of the product. Well, John, you know, you had mentioned that you want to know a little bit about the application of this product. This product here, um, as you can see, it kind of looks like a, an iPad. Um, it has a digital display. You set the water temperature to the temperature that you need. So if you'd like to take a shower at 105 degrees, you dial in 105 degrees and turn on only hot water. The beauty of that is you're not overheating water to cool it down with with cold water, and that saves you energy. Um, our smaller units, this unit oh, here. This unit's for one, one bathroom. Right? Yes, this unit, that's what I was just going to say, this Johnny, this unit is will power one bathroom or a shower. Um, this larger unit, obviously, will power a small whole house, you know, condominium, something like that. A 50 gallon equivalent? Uh, I'd say safe to be 50 gallons would be safe. In, in a uh, moderate climate, obviously, all tankless hot water heaters uh, require energy to raise the temperature of the water immediately. So what happens is, depending on how cold your incoming water is, you know, you need more power to raise that to a satisfactory hot water level. So you have to engineer those implementations. These units here are under sink units, uh, and we have multiple sizes of under sink units. For example, this unit would drive, you know, a full kitchen sink. Uh, so you can put this under your kitchen sink, try to dishwasher, kitchen sink, laundry tub, laundry basin. It's a nice small unit. You set the temperature of the water you need. The beauty about setting temperatures to the water that you need is in the kitchen you like 115 degree water to do your dishes. So you set this to 115 degrees. You're not over you're not cooling down water, you're not overheating water. In your bathroom back to here, nobody takes a 115 degree shower. You take a 105 or 110 degree shower. So you have temperature diversity, you have safety. If this was a kid's bathroom, you could set this to 90 degrees, they'll never scald themselves, things like that. Does that answer those questions, Johnny? Yeah, that does. Thanks, thanks a lot for taking the time to do a little video with us. Okay, you're very welcome.